Oy. So Lair leans into one and an absolute cannon shot out oh. of the ballpark. Oh. How about a light beer? <laughs> My goodness. Oh, we talked about Solaire in the open, uh, along with Witt having the best numbers against Lopez. It was a matter of time. I could just tell. The, the Royals have been hitting a few hard balls, but man, this one here ain't coming back. His two hits against Giolito are home runs, and that will be another 430 plus. Jorge Soler has 44 home runs this year. Well, maybe that one you can yell for because Soler got it in the air with authority. My goodness, his his swing is powerful. He has bad intentions for that baseball. Ooh, man. Wow. That is long gone and 45 home runs for Jorge Soler. Oh, oh, oh my. I got to learn how to stop talking when this guy comes up. Woo! That was a, some kind of shot. When you see outfielders not move at all, that means that there is no chance. That is some solar power. Look at this. That's a high fastball that he got every bit of. Listen, they believe in me, and I'm going to keep going. Oh, that one is not coming back. Way, way back and off the top of the fountains. I tell you what, when he gets into one, there is no doubt. And Solaire hits his seventh to make it a one run game. I'm telling you, he gets that. Right on the meat of his bat. It ain't coming back. Cracks it high in oh, the air. That's man. deep to center. That's a way back, and that ball's a way gone. That's impressive. Right after Minnesota dropped four on Duffy in the top of this inning, the Royals just come right back with home run. Oh, that ball was hit in the Solaire system. Look at that high breaking ball on a tee for Solaire. That ball is well struck, and this game is tied on the 40th home run by Jorge Solaire, and that ricocheted off the Royals Hall of Fame. Wow, that's some kind of power. That's solar power. It ricocheted so far it came back into the bullpen. 115 exit below. He got all that. And that is blasted. Deep left center field, and that is number 23 into the second deck of the water. So many of his homers, it was a no doubter. Oh man. Deep left center field into the second level of seats. Boy, the Royals have hit two bombs tonight. Dozier in the second. And Soler to a group of guys who had no idea they're going to end up with a souvenir tonight. <laughs> Talk about Air Soler. Hit one to the Miller Light Fountain Bar. 
We were just talking about that before the game. How many homers have we seen hit over the fountains? Well, not many. And here's one here for the record book. Elevated, and that ball is gone. <laughs> Into the second deck. <laughs> wow. That left the target field in about two seconds. There's your answer. First pitch fastball elevated. See ya. Two nothing. Oh. They might need to replace that seat <laughs> in the second deck in left field. I'm telling you, I tore a whole row out. Look at this. Whack. And the crowd just went, oh, and by the time they could even get the O out, it was out. Two runs the Royals have taken the lead have been charged to Blyer. And another one. My goodness. Jorge Soler with a laser beam over all three walls in straightaway center field. <laughs> now, I've, I've only what? Been, I've only been here a few years every day watching these get these Royals games. I've never seen a home run there on the line. That is a month's worth of Goldberg's laundry not Two weeks worth. That is blasted. Deep left field. And Jorge Soler goes into the third deck. Even the guy who ended up with the souvenir can't believe the ball was hit that far and on a line. Huh? Wow. I mean, it took it. Soler, I had a feeling. You know he was going to get hot on this road trip. It started out yesterday with three hits, and now you know back-to-back changeups. That did not work by Gibson. The first pitch did. This one here, ah, uh, right center, 85. That ball left in a heartbeat. And if he wasn't a fan up there, probably would have ripped that row of seats out. That ball was crushed.